Say good morning. Tell everybody good morning. Hi, my name's Ace. My name's Ace. What's your name? Ha, <laughs> <laughs> you stay down. <laughs> hey. Play. That's right. Hey everybody. I'm Randy Jones, Incredible Tiny Homes, and this is my dog Ace. My dog. My dog. Are you my dog? You my dog? Well, he sleeps with me, so he better be my dog. <laughs> um, behind me is an ESP panel home, uh, engineered steel panel is what we call them, so we've given them a, 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 a title. And so just to let you know, they're, they're about two inches thick, inch and three quarters thick. It's got steel on the inside, steel on the outside. So there's no two by fours, there's no, there's uh, no mechanical devices like wiring or plumbing or anything inside these walls. It's solid foam, okay? So they're made out of old door panels. They, they've cut out, put glass in a regular steel door, and these are the remnants. So we're building a house out of remnants. Now, these homes have been engineered, so they're structurally sound and built to pass any kind of uh, NFPA and, and ANSI certification. All right, so this is what we got. What I'm doing a video today on is to show you the, the, the versatility of these panels and how it works. So behind me, you can see this window that we have. You see how they've cut it out? Now that's just a piece of wood. So this is just a piece of wood the homeowner brought in here, right? This is a piece of wood. They put the, this, we can cut any, any uh, design, figure, anything out of these things. Then we can put glass over that. The process we'll show you later on, plexiglass. However, the owner, now this particular owner is not so concerned with um, as much like energy efficiency. Yeah. They're super energy efficient, but he would rather have that look and have a, like a single pane glass mm -hmm. than have a double pane and ordering well, in a, it and all it's that. It's a rental, so he's needing to have that curb appeal, really the pop, uh, the look. Yeah, it. so he, he told me, he said, think of it as a stage mm -hmm. setting, like a movie set. And so we have done some really different stuff for him. And he said, like we got one with wood boards on the roof instead of metal. Right. And I said, it's going to rot eventually, 10, 8, 10 years. He said, that's fine. He said, even when it starts breaking and rotting, yeah. he wants that look. This particular house has got cedar boards. We had logs, and Mike's got his own sawmill, and he cut boards, put them up there with those log rafters. So I, I don't know any other company that would go out of their way to do this on this home. But these yeah. guys are taking this as a piece of art. They're loving what they're doing. And I just wanted to show you a little bit about this. We do everything. Right behind me, of course, is stick built. That's a stick built. That's a stick built. We do mostly conventional framed homes. I just want to let you know kind of that we'll, you know, how customized we are. Our inventive in kind of trying to look at other alternative ways to build homes. So I'm going to take you inside. I'm going to show them, uh oh, I'm going to show them this one. But also, keep watching as this home evolves, and, and other ones too, but this right. one in particular is because it's so different. The owner wants to put a live roof on it. Yeah. He's going to put grass and, and uh, you know, grow stuff on it. So he's got a process. He's going to bring his stuff in here. We're going to see how that goes. I'm going to show okay. you guys. It's kind of what we do. Now, also what we do is we try to do this very efficiently, time-wise, and inexpensively for money. Who knows what a house like that would cost over a hundred grand to, I don't know what it would cost out. It's a 10 by 20. It's got a full bedroom up top with a king, king size bed could fit, it's double dormer on both sides. And then downstairs there's a kitchen, bathroom, staircase, and a living room that probably is over a hundred, 120 square feet just in the living room. And this is a 10 by 20 house. Okay. Yeah. Isn't that neat? So he's actually taken those log slabs, we call them. He's cutting them to fit that wood trim. And then they've got some other details on the outside. And then we're gonna stucco around all that. So that's kind of what's going on. There's Mike there. So and that's what's kind of fun is you get creative, you go. And you know what? And that's what I've always said about our company. 
we, the guys want, they're carpenters, they want to create, they want to do stuff. They don't want to just be a factory where they cookie cutter them all out, yeah. right? Okay. Let's okay. go in and show them a little bit. There you go. We're watching you. Cool. They're taking up my night time. Well, we know where that's going. Oh, just yeah. by the shape of it. Isn't that neat? Yep. Oh, you're good, bud. Yep. Boy, so, so, good. so, yeah, and see how he turned it around? See, he had two, notch, two marks here, one mark there, and he makes the marks, so he knows where to put it all back together after he sands it or whatever he's got to do to it, you know? Right. Router it out. So this is a workstation that they build their houses in. This is his toolboxes, his tools, and everything he has here. They work here every single day. This house is gone. We'll pull another one in. This right. is their, like, their station is where yeah. they, they build homes. He's got his tools here, everything, microwave. <laughs> All right. So this is a Hobbit door. Yeah. It's, um, Mike's a welder. Guys do all kinds of stuff here. A lot of us weld, a lot of us carpenters, we do it, you name it, metal fabricating. So we got a door, um, another one of these windows that the homeowner just brought in, this old stuff, you know. Let me come in and show you a little bit about the ceiling because we took cedar logs. I know, you're going to show that. Let's just show this. So right here is a big piece of glass that's going in here. All right? So you got panels. All right. So this roof system, you can see the load is coming down on here. But it's all steel, so that load is beautifully secured because it's steel all the way to the floor. Up here, we're putting on this... We're actually going to put a big girder through the middle of this big this these rafters. So we're going to put another big girder that comes across, okay. and it'll hold these logs up even more. Okay. And then we're going to trim this out. I should let Mike say that. Yes, we're going to trim that out the log that Landon's talking about. We're going to try to find one with a with a crotch in it and stick the crotch out through there a couple of feet. Oh, because cool. he wants to hang like a lantern or something goofy off of it. Okay. There you go. Mm -hmm. So let's. And then so to enforce. The load, you put that up there, didn't you? That, and I'm putting another one on the outside, and then those will get sandwiched together. Bolt them together. So then, because we're concerned about the load, vertical load coming on that glass, okay. it's going to have an actual header across there made out of logs. And then, all of these yeah. are all half logs, and everything is supported down to this. And those yeah, that's, this carried. is actually like a header here, absolutely. isn't it? Yeah, and then those are supports that go to the floor. So mm -hmm. this is a big, thick board here. This weight here transfers to them, then to the floor. Okay. You know, because that's an eight-foot piece of glass that going in. That is beautiful. That's, I love that. Pretty cool. And what, what's neat is what we do is, <clears throat> this is the actual outside trim. So he'll do outside trim all the way around it. The glass will be smashed against that outside trim. And see how it's rounded? The water, <clears throat> the water will just run right off of that. Yeah. So, you know, we want to make sure this house can last for a long time without any water damage right. for just a piece of glass up against right. it. You good? I'm good. Awesome. Um, he did these logs up here, like the ceiling is all cedar boards. So these, this actually come from trees that we've cut down across the street and some other places, mostly across the street. He brought his sawmill, he cut them, and then, we, and then he wanted to leave that live edge in between them. So you've got two boards the same and then a live edge on both sides. Then he put more cedar on top of the cracks. Then we're going to go on the outside of the house up top, and we're going to build this perimeter and just spray foam. The whole thing, seal it up, waterproof it, all set. Then we put a, a the built-up roof that the owner wants, some kind of whatever he wants. He's going to do all that himself, the, the uh, greenery. Is cedar more uh, of an expensive wood? Well, I'm sure if you wanted to buy cedar out there, it'd be more expensive wood. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. So here's cedar slabs, more slabs, all this stuff. You guys can see the amount of work that's involved in just trying to make this work, you know? Mm -hmm. So, but... Typical floor plan, same floor plan we've always done. It's a 10 by 20. It is an amazing floor plan for a rental. This is all going to be in a resort for rental. Big living room. So, like I said, your living room is almost probably, it's better than 120 square feet just in this living room alone. Right? 
<coughs> excuse me, as you come in, staircase, full staircase up to a bedroom that can accommodate a king size bed. Right. Double dormer. Log ceiling, cedar ceiling, and that actual that ceiling is curved. If you'll turn that around, I'll take a yeah. peek up through the it's log. It's got an arch. On. Can you see it? Oh, yeah. And the ceiling is what? It's, it's got an arch on it. It does have like Yeah. A, you can see it from the outside. If you're in there <clears throat> looking right at the wall. Yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me. And this will be a queen bed, king bed? Uh, whatever they put. I don't know what they're going to do. Big. It can accommodate a king. Yeah, it's big. Yeah. Okay. So you got a staircase. Then of course, here's your kitchen. Water heater's under the kitchen counter. Mm -hmm. And then your full bathroom. Staircase under the staircase is storage Whoa. closet area for guests who's come and stay. Okay. Put their luggage under, a little bar to hang any clothes up. Shower, toilet, and we don't put a washer and dryer in because it's a rental. Um, right. Yeah. Oh, and look at this little window. See here? I see that over the bathroom. Is that not the cool? Toilet. Yeah. Yep. yep. So they'll clean all this out. And I think the owner just wants to put plexiglass in there. We'll stucco it, okay. trim it, and be done. Yeah. Let me over here for you. Gosh, how expensive is that big window? I just love that. Yeah, it's awesome. Yeah. yeah. So Could you, um, I have a question about the mm -hmm. location of it. Yeah. Could the window go higher if you wanted to, or is there a certain reason why it's where it's at? It, it, it could have went higher. Okay. I just sure, asked it. Sure could. Like we've got space and really, yeah, it could have went up whatever, you know, up to that point. Okay. This house is a little bit, it's taller. Normally this is the height of our walls right here. Yeah. All right. And then we go across with a vertical ceiling. So normally we don't even go that high. Right. Normally it's even lower. Remember the last house, it was like this far off the floor right. because the pitch goes from here up on a triangle, but because this is almost a flat roof, right. we got more canvas area to, to put anything we want. Mm -hmm. Okay. So there's actually more volume square footage on the walls mm -hmm. on this house than a regular, than a regular gable roof. roofed house. Okay. Yeah. All right. Cool. And this is a fireplace apparently yeah, that's they, going in. Yeah, it's 120 bucks. I don't know where they bought it, but um, that's going to be mounted on the wall. Okay. And then they're going to build a profile with a mantle and the whole thing to make it look like a fireplace. Mm -hmm. Now the owner, when he gets the house, he's going to put an outside fireplace out of, it's a faux fireplace. Uh -huh. and he's going to make it look like it's a fireplace on the outside. Okay, like a chimney. Chimney, like chimney. a chimney. Okay. Right. All right. All right. Thanks, Mike. Uh -huh. Look at this board. Yeah, no. It's curvy and wavy. Yeah, and see, see how shiny this is? So this is with some sickened stains on it. Beautiful. And see how it's got, it's stained, but it's also got a sheen. Yeah. Oh, so yeah. all of our sickens product has a sheen. That's the main reason we use this and everybody loves it is because of the sheen. And we just had a question about it. Yeah, they had a homeowner that said it. they didn't know it had a sheen or the specifics in it. And I know that I've tried to explain that in numerous videos over the years of this product called Sickens. I think it's got S-I-K-K-E-N-S. -K -K -E I think it's got two Ks. Um, but that's the, that's the, the, uh, the durability of it is because it is mixed with a sort of some sort of polyurethane. Mm -hmm. I think there was a confusion or a question when I said gloss and sheen. And it's the same thing. I'm not a what do you call it? An ink what do you, what do you call it, man? An English uh, major ver verbologist. <laughs> yeah, so I'm I'm going to use all kinds of goofy words because I'm just not smart enough to come up with a, a proper terminology for a lot of things we do. Hey, it's shiny. How's it's that? It's shiny, exactly. It's shiny. But just to reiterate, yeah. on the sick and stain, it is a three-step process. Yes. One, two, three. And for the warranty to be... Yeah, you got to do all three. No. <laughs> I just didn't want you tripping. You were back. Oh, okay. Yeah. 
Hey, let's... <laughs> that was good, too. I, I mean, mean that's fine. Know. Yeah. Well, all right. Hey, stand right there. Right, right here? Yeah. Okay. Look down that. Oh, yeah. Oh, you definitely... All right. That's your Sickens product. Yeah. That's three-coat process. Okay. So it's shiny, it's sheeny, and it's glossy. <laughs> yeah. So this house is getting ready to leave tomorrow. So it'll be leaving. They're cleaning it, caulking it, getting it all set, going through some punch lists. We just videoed the customers, showing them the inside so they can critique it, let us know what they think. But it is leaving tomorrow. So and, we're on that. And this customer chose to have just two, the two step. Well, they said that they had no idea that it was going to be a glossy shine on Sicken's product. And, mm -hmm. and so that's, it's so hard to explain without the customer being here and that's why we do so many videos is to educate everybody that we can on our products what we use what we do it's just you know yeah so now this still we looks stopped great. so, you so can tell the difference. yeah so this one we stopped at two mm -hmm. coats two coats that's what we stopped at but we got to limit the warranty on this house mm -hmm. because it's not got three coats on it you know right. it's going to be fine but still we got to make sure we understand and what's the going on and knows and everything so yeah. it's all good but i think it'll be difference. great with two coats look at the difference in the wood talk about that all right too. so this is a different color yeah a different color uh sickens yeah but the wood on here is a little more rough okay yeah. it means like that it's got more it's not as sanded smooth mm -hmm. so it absorbs the stain more, more. You can take this color and put it on a, on a rough and it'd be change the whole color. Mm -hmm. Be a lot different. Right. So really, so it depends on a, the texture of your wood and how the stain receives that wood. So yeah. it changes the whole color look. And now, too, you know, and it's something to actually talk about, like, you know, with sales and stuff like that and do your research as well. But um, just because, you know, somebody will say, oh, I want that color. Well, it's not going to be, it's going to be close to that, but because of the wood, yeah. just know that it's going to vary. Somewhere. Yeah, when well, you guys can see how it's dark here, dark here, a little bit here and here, yeah. and dark, and it's just, then it's light. And, you stain know, wood. Stain is a whole different thing. Than yeah, paint. and wood, wood brings out different colors of yeah. stain. Even on this one, there's different spots of this, yeah. you know. Yeah. Now, and it's hard to get the second coat like this right here, I can see it a little bit lighter here. Yeah. Okay. Then it's darker here. Right. And it may be look, hey, the guys didn't stain it the same. Well, what happens is that's why you got to have three coats. Yeah. The, th the third coat actually blends it all together, yeah. you know. So. It still looks good to me. Um, oh, so I think it does, but then it's this is the hardest business in the world to do exactly. is to bring a product to somebody that has it in their head our head and through all the pictures the videos the blueprints and everything else it listen everybody knows construction is yeah yeah is uh, the hardest thing it's not like buying the same blue jeans every day <laughs> do we want to i didn't know if you wanted to i know he's in there working uh, carlos is but yeah do we want to look at the drywall or is it being they're yeah, we can look at it. Because we rarely have a house that has drywall. That's true. Let's look at that. Let's do that. I see something out there just okay, really right quick. Ahead. I want to show okay. you one thing on this house that I thought I wanted to show you guys. Oh, and everybody wanted to see inside that house, too. I we're going to show you inside, but I just wanted, because we were standing there. This is our tongue box that are stuccoed. Mm -hmm. I love this look. Now, now you can, why are we stuccoing the tongue box? What We used a new product. We used our ESP panels. Mm -hmm for a tongue box yeah. and Ooh, yeah. I love it. You talk, Amanda, all right, our tongue boxes, excuse me, they're made of a lot of wood. They're not a, a sealed up door that you put on a regular house. Okay. So you got all this wood, you got, it gets a lot of weather. Yeah. Okay. The overhang's not way out of here. So, so I said, let's try a foam panel. It will not rot, will Great not rust, idea. will not fall apart. The stucco is a lifelong material that takes tons of weather great idea also this lip here see this lip yeah okay so we bend this out of flat stock and we create this lip right here and it comes down goes over up and back there's no water can get inside here yeah so the door will shut up against this right that's great then we've got a lip on the bottom yep. so any water that gets on is going to sit i love it that's not going to rust mm -hmm. this is not going to rust it's not going to rot it's got a metal floor in it Great idea. Massive durable. Well, and two, I'm loving this the, whole design. Um, the, um, 
the tongue boxes, wouldn't it just, they were so hard each, I mean, we're talking, it took a lot to build It one. would take a guy three days to build Crazy. a tongue box. Yeah. Yep, I'm gonna make sure I'm still, you guys can hear me, okay. Yep, so I just want to point it out. We're going to put the doors on it. We'll come back, show you the door, and we do the whole video of the house. Okay, we'll do and that. And we'll come back. And okay. it's a completely off-grid home. Yeah. It's exciting. All right. So this house is being sheetrocked. So I think we got to... It's around the backside. Uh, yeah. We'll get on this thing. So it's got a big port. This is a 10 by 36. This is Hunter. Yeah. I preferably like sheetrock in a house. Mm -hmm. I like the mixture of a sheetrock and wood ceiling, wood trim with sheetrock. Okay. I think I could probably do all the homes like that. I think they're, I like just that look. It's a mixture of both. How hard is it though? I mean, which is, does it take a long time? What's the deal? Well, the thing is, is about sheetrock is finishing the sheetrock is, it takes a particular skill. It so does. not anybody can do it, you gotta be taught. So that's where, when you put wood on the wall, all carpenters can put wood up, but not all of them can go to the sheetrock. And that's the part, okay. we, we don't have enough trained right. people. There is, there is certain areas for different people. Yeah. Watch out, buddy. Oh, my good, good grief. Oh, wow, big difference. Yeah, so on this particular house, we use the panels for the roof. And they're gonna put wood on the roof, on the, on the ceiling, I should yeah. say, mm -hmm. right? It's got a wood floor. We still do wood floors. Mm -hmm. We just don't warranty them, all right? Because they get wet, separate, can't. We cannot warranty that that floor is gonna stay as tight and clean as it is yeah. through moisture content and, and uh, owner use, right? Is the drywall more expensive? <sighs> um, it's oh. almost a wash. But, but when it comes to the labor of doing it, there is an upgrade on the, um, just because of the skill. It takes. And the man, it's, it's a labor cost is what I we mean, have on I mean, we literally here. have what, maybe two people that can stuck it or can do this, mate or, or, One or two just guys. Carlos. <laughs> yeah, so we have, um, I mean, we got guys that can, they're carpenters, they're, they just, this? they can't break off and come here and put sheetrock up. Man, it's. Beautiful. Yeah, so you're there. gonna so imagine having you know a wood ceiling, wood ceiling, sheetrock walls. Yeah. All right, so see this just to point out a little bit about sheetrock mud, which we call mud or finishing. So you have almost a 24 inch yeah. mud, we call it, all right? Yeah. There's only one crack in here where two pieces of sheetrock were put together. Right. This is a seam. Okay. This guy has feathered. Right, it's thicker here, and it's feathered to nothing here. Okay. And he has had to spread that out with one little crack here. He's had to spread it out 24 inches. Wow. To get that thing where you will not see any variation where those two sheet rocks come together. I see. These are called, um, well, the butt joints is when two people, two of them come together. Mm -hmm. Like uh, behind this door, here's one right here, if you can see a little bit. So you got a vertical butt joint. This has to be feathered out. So look at the mud on here. They've got a vertical, I'm a horizontal line. You got a vertical line. He has had to mud it from here to here, here to here, here. This is all finished mud on here. Wow. Yeah. So it's, even though it's a small spice, it's not a big house, um, but that's what, yeah, in all your corners, you got um, corner bead. So that's metal mm -hmm. corner bead. They'll be sanding that off, all corner bead, corner bead, all this right here is corner bead. And the ceiling's going to be wood. Wood. My goodness, it's going to be beautiful in here. Now, the wood is going to be there and yeah. panels too? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Very nice. And in the bathroom. So the, now, this is a unique bathroom because the bathroom's vaulted. It's got a vaulted ceiling. Oh, yeah. I like that. Yep. Now, it's completely enclosed. So, even though there's a loft right there, this is a vaulted ceiling where you don't look over into the loft. This whole bathroom is vaulted. So they opted to, instead of having a second uh, a loft, uh, there's a vaulted ceiling here. Isn't that cool? I'm glad he's never in the way. <laughs> Will you move your tail? <laughs> I swear. This is the home. Hey, Carlos. Hello. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So there's your, there's your mud joints. Yes. Yep, what they're doing, these long lines are your screws and nails, doing that, doing their corners. See, so he's put um, corner, corner tape, doing your corners, trying to let them dry. And then we'll trim it all out with wood. 
So there's a water line. I like line. this with this, all this room. I do. It's kind of neat. Yes, I like it with this so vaulted ceiling. So this bathroom with this vaulted ceiling. Yeah. And, and did you see the window up top high? Yes. This is really nice. Hey, now that line up there. That. Uh, yeah, I know. <laughs> that line up there, that white, them light pipes, white yeah. pipes are for your AC unit. Okay. Okay. Air conditioning and heat. So what we'll do is we'll run wood up there, then we cap it with a flat board all the way across, mm -hmm. and we conceal it inside some trim, and you'll never okay. know it's there. Well, I like this a lot. A lot. I like a it a lot. lot. And you know what? You can figure up something. You can get something to open that. Maybe fix some kind of string, something. I don't know, a stick. A string. Get one of those. You know what they have? A wind the, stick. Yeah. The, elderly, uh, the, the grabbers. The grabbers. Get a grabber and just open it and stuff. Yeah. So we'll figure, you can figure out something. Yep. Okay. All right. Hey. I like this. I'm glad we showed this. Good. Everybody, thank you for watching. So just go back. Just want to let you know if you got the end of tail end of this video. We've showed a beautiful Hobbit ESP home. Mm -hmm. All the different variations we can put in, different cuts and windows and um, personal, you know, personal touches that we're putting on yeah. for the owner. Mm -hmm. Big pieces of glass. Then you got conventional sheetrock, wood. Beautiful. Beautiful home. We talked about stain, the sheen, the sickens, the three coat process, and how all that fits together on this video today. So, and also our new tongue box that we're using is the foam Love panel it. boxes with the stucco. Super durable. I don't know where else you're gonna get more than what we offer in a home or in a product that you wanna have. Is that right here at Incredible Tiny Home. So, if you guys will, We'll um, hit this thumbs up or a thumbs down. No, 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 no. Well, thumbs, thumbs up. Thumbs up. Yeah. Thumbs up. Thumbs subscribe. Up. We get a hundred thousand video, a uh, hundred thousand subscribers. We're building a home and giving it away. Yes. We've lost our minds. I don't know anybody. <laughs> I don't know anybody on YouTube that's giving a whole house away. So maybe we might be contacted by some real big official. Anyway, we just want to give you a house if you subscribe. That's all you have to do is subscribe. We're going to put all your names in a big old bucket. I'm going to just jump inside, pull it out, and whatever I got in my mouth, who's going to win that tiny home? All right? So do that. Tell your friends and neighbors, children and aunts and uncles and grandpas. Tell them to subscribe to this crazy channel. If the children are 18 and above. Children's. Yes. The children's. All right. Have a great day. We'll see you tomorrow. Yeah. All this week, we got lots going on. A lot of homes leaving, yes. a couple homes coming back from the Amish. We're going to show you all our different processes. So hang in there with us. We're glad to have you on board with us for this wild ride. Yeah. See ya.